through. Now you can do weaving your ends with your hook, but again, I'm going to use a needle, but I'm going to do that first one there. I'm just going to pull that through right there with the hook. And now I'm going to grab a needle. And this is a bigger yarn needle. One thing about having long fingernails is that I can just push the yarn through, which is honestly kind of nice. Now I'm going to go through like the next stitch there and I'm just going to weave that into the next stitch. I'm going to weave it in and out. Here you can see that me weaving it in and out there and you don't want it to pull out. So now I'm going to go back over where I just weaved the stitch in. So I'm going to go back over those, but the, you know, the opposite direction there of where I just weaved that stitch in at. That way it'll set it and it won't pull out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to go crazy with it here. I'm going to weave in and out, go different areas, go different angles. I'm going to go back over stitches that I already went over. That way I can rest assured that it will not pull out. One of my biggest nightmares is my stitches actually coming out or pulling out, especially if it's something that I've handmade and I've sold. So that's, that really is like a huge fear of mine that the stitches actually pull out. So here I'm just going to go back and forth, different areas, different directions, and I'm just gonna weave in that end. And after I weaved in enough and I'm satisfied, then I'm still going to tie it off because again, it, it makes me paranoid that it's going to come out. So I tie mine off, I weave mine in different directions and tie all of mine off. That way I can rest assured that mine is not going to come undone. So see here I'm going underneath now and you can pick up those little yarn pieces, those little stitches underneath so you don't have to go all the way through it. And now I'm just doing that and I'm going different directions a little bit there. I'm working my way up kind of. And now I'm satisfied with it. So now I'm just going to make a knot right there. And then I'm going to go through the same stitch and make a knot again. And this way I know that it's not going to come out. And now I'm just going to cut the rest of the yarn. And then I'm going to go to the top of the beanie and I'm going to do pretty much the same exact thing. So I'm kind of pulling it tight there and then I'm just going to put the yarn through my crochet needle there or my yarn needle. And then I'm just going to do the same thing and just kind of weave it in and out like I did before. Kind of just go around, go in weird, crazy directions, and then go right back over where you were at. That way you know that you've set it in place there and it won't come out. But since I get paranoid, I'm going to do quite a bit of weaving in and out and going back over, and then I'm going to make a knot also. And here I'm turning it over again. I'm just going through some of those stitches on the back like I did before, working that in. And now I'm going to go back over that area there. And now I'm just going to make my, make my knot there. It is hard to do it sometimes when you get, when your yarn gets pretty small. So I've made my knot, now I'm just going to cut it, turn it back over. And that folks is how you weave in your ends. Um, please like and follow all my videos online. Thanks for watching.